Hello, and welcome to the second video in the Hamilton Bikeability series. In this episode, we will be discussing the Escarpment Rail Trail. Let's get right into it. The Escarpment Rail Trail is an 8.4 kilometer long trail which connects Corktown Park in downtown Hamilton to Albion Falls Park in the East Mountain. The average incline is 1 degree with a few sections that are closer to 2 degrees, and there is also a short 4 degree incline between Trenholm Park and Albion Falls Park. The trail receives a score of 100% and it is one of the most scenic places to travel in the entire city. The trail actually scores 101% and has the potential to score even higher if only there was a proper connection to the Kenilworth access and also there will be access to the Hetty access trail. To the right we have a dog park and up above we have the Claremont access slash Keddy eventual connection. Uh, there is stairs to Victoria Avenue south to the right. And let's talk about the areas that this trail connects. So we started in Corktown Park. Corktown Park is very close to St. Joseph's Hospital and also the Hamilton Go Center. There's this stretch of path which leads us all the way to Wentworth and Charlton. And from there, you can travel on to Cumberland and go to Gage Park. But yeah, let's also talk about why this uh, path scores so high. Uh, it's because it's a dedicated path. It's no cars. You don't have to worry about cars. You are the car in this scenario. So always make sure that you give pedestrians the right of way. Um, give them ample warning with your bell. But yes, here we are approaching the Wentworth slash Charlton intersection. And this is where a 5.4 kilometer section of trail uh, does not connect to anything else for bicyclists. Uh, and if in case you're wondering what all these signs say, they pretty much all say the same thing, and it's stay on the marked trails. Uh, there is the Bruce Trail that shares this path, and occasionally it does jump off and on. Uh, you'll want to look for the white trail sign markers to see what path you want to take if you're a pedestrian. Obviously, if you're a bicyclist, don't travel on the single track trails that are the Bruce Trail. This section is fine. The Ketty Access that shares sections with the Bruce Trail. That's fine to be bicycling on, but uh, those uh, those dirt paths, not so much. Also, as a cyclist, I don't like traveling in the dirt that much. I kind of want a smooth ride, and that's what Hamilton needs more of. Just nice, smooth rides. So, uh, yeah, there is not much happening for the next five kilometers. Uh, so if you do want to jump ahead to this section in the video, I will uh, understand. Uh, but yeah, if you want to sit back, relax, enjoy the scenery, maybe put on some, some relaxing music to listen it to, uh, go right ahead. But uh, I will be talking throughout this video and I was planning to do a sped up version but I think it's probably best just to have it presented at the pace that it was filmed at. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think otherwise, if you want it to be fast forwarded. Uh, I know there is a video coming up where there is a fast forward section but that is because I literally have to get off the bike and walk. We don't have to worry about that. In this video though, this path is perfect. I will uh, point out that when traveling down the escarpment on this trail, you'll be closer to the side that gravity may not favor. And because you'll be traveling down, you'll be picking up speed, so be careful when traveling downbound. Uh, obviously, give pedestrians the right of way. 
don't try to sneak past them. There are some sections where if you go slightly off the trail, you might hit that log. That wouldn't be good. Dotted along this trail, there are lookouts. And you can get some very nice views of the city. But pretty much anywhere along this route, it's completely scenic. And this is winter that this video was filmed in. So there's no greenery. Uh, I do think I will be putting up another video of this route. Uh, not with any commentary, but just once it gets green, I think I will record it so that people can just watch it, enjoy it, because it is a very beautiful route. Uh, I, I start looking off to my left because I hear some noise and it sounds like a train and yep it is a train uh, it kind of surprised me because for a, quite a while I was hearing the train and I'm just like where's the train and I totally forgot that there's a train at a lower elevation this trail used to be a path for the train hence the rail trail but uh, yeah it kind of uh, caught me off guard and I was just like, why do I keep hearing it at a constant sound? So up ahead we have our first lookout, I believe, and it looks out over to the brick factory. Just off to the left, coming up. And that overlooks the old brick factory. And not too far from here, there is a path that, if the city were to make a proper connection to the Kenilworth axis and the traffic circle there, you could connect. Um, it's right there. There's that dirt path. I wouldn't recommend traveling it right now, but you can get to Kenilworth. You can get to Lawrence. There is the Kenilworth axis that we are traveling over right now. You can also get to King Street, the Rosedale neighborhood, but uh, the city does not have that implemented, and in, I, I do think that it would be something good that the city could add, because by putting that connection there, it takes that 5.4 kilometers of no connections for bikes and splits it almost exactly in half. If you do want to travel along Lawrence, there is a way. Uh, I, I do like to travel along Lawrence. So what I do is I go down the rail trail to Wentworth. I turn left onto Wentworth and then take an immediate right onto Cumberland. Cumberland brings me all the way down to Gage Park. Turn right. It turns into Lawrence and Lawrence brings you all the way to East Hamilton and into Stony Creek. The day that I filmed this, it was quite overcast, but I still like the scenery. Even though everything's gray and brown, it's all very nice. Here's where the trail starts to curve around the escarpment of Hamilton Mountain. And you're going to start hearing me say a lot of words that include the words stairs, because up ahead we have plenty of pedestrian stairs. So as a pedestrian, this is a great section where you can go up and down the escarpment, do loops, off to the left, we have the Kenilworth Stairs, which brings you down to Kimberly Drive in the Rosedale neighborhood. We also have uh, what I like to call Uli's North Stairs coming up. They connect to the Bruce Trail. Uh, there is three sets of stairs that I believe a man named Uli has built by hand. They're not maintained by the city, so they are use at your own risk. 
but there is also city maintained stairs. So off to the left we have Uli's North Stairs, and off to the right we have the Mountain Brow Margate Stairs, which brings you to Martin Brow at Margate. Those North Stairs of Uli's connected to the Bruce Trail, they don't go all the way down. Uh, there is a section of stairs that go all the way from the escarpment all the way down to Green Hill, and those will be coming up in just a moment. But that path, I believe, also connects to the Bruce Trail, because the Bruce Trail is off to our left, slightly lower in elevation. Uh, I think at occasions you might be able to see it, but not right at the moment. So here we have Uli Stairs, right here, from the top of the escarpment all the way down. We have a lookout, plenty of lookouts, and you don't even need to use the lookouts to see wonderful sights. Now a little bit away from Uli's Stairs, we have Uli's South Stairs. Again, these aren't the names that are are well known. I just felt the need to emphasize that there's Uli stairs, which go from the top to the bottom. There's stairs to the north of that, and there's stairs to the south of that. Uh, the ones to the south look quite steep, and I actually hadn't seen them before, hadn't noticed them before, but they, they look quite steep right here. Uh, haven't checked those out. Every time I've come by, I've been on a bicycle, so... Um, I didn't really feel like locking it up and trying to take the stairs down and and carry my my awkward helmet that I wear. <laughs> I wear a full face helmet and um, it's it's quite thick because it was cheap. So to make up for the fact that it was cheap, they make it thick, and so it's a little cumbersome. But uh, I do like the full face helmet because uh, I don't want my teeth. To be destroyed or my jaw to be destroyed if I take a tumble. That's just a personal opinion though. Anyways, off to the right we have Arms Lookout and the Arms Lookout Gorge. I don't know if it has a an actual name but it's a small gorge. And a final lookout as we enter into the stone that is the Niagara Escarpment. Up ahead, we have a bridge that is the Mountain Brow Road. And there is a connection to this just off to the right. Oh, sorry, Mountain Brow Boulevard. And there is a connection that also connects you to Mohawk Road East. Now, you may not know this, but we are in a park right now. It is the Mohawk Sports Park. It is um, a massive, massive park with tons of baseball diamonds, soccer fields, there's track and field, four ice rinks, and we're just in the forested section of this right now. There is multiple connections, uh, especially for pa uh, pedestrians. There's a path off to the left right there, and another one coming up, and that leads you to the ice rinks, but there's also a proper path for bicyclists coming up and I'm sorry for all the arrows but hopefully it makes sense baseball diamonds on both sides up ahead ice rink to the left soccer track and field on the right there's also a half pipe I don't know what condition the half pipe is in um, and obviously that's meant for skateboarding not not bicycles it's it's quite small you can see the baseball diamonds off to the left and the soccer fields off to the right, there is tons and tons of soccer fields and baseball diamonds. It is a massive sports complex. The path off to the right also leads you to a building. I don't know if it's a concession building where you can buy drinks or if it's just for washrooms. But there is a building off to that path. And we continue along. And we will eventually reach... Lime Ridge Road. This section of 
the Escarpment Rail Trail tends to be very busy. It wasn't busy this day that I was bicycling, uh, but it tends to be extremely busy on really nice days. But once you pass Lime Ridge Road East, then uh, you don't really see too many people. So this section of the trail, uh, you're surrounded by residential housing. And there was one thing that I noticed, and it looked like a lot of the backyards of, a, of the houses, especially on the right, had two backyards. So if anyone knows what that is about, please let me know in the comments, because uh, you'll see it up ahead. You'll see wooden fences, but then you'll see uh, metal fences. And <laughs> I'm, I'm confused by that. Is it separate separate backyards where you get a double backyard? I don't know. It's It's confusing. But anyways, we are approaching Trenholm Park. It's off to the right. And that, of course, connects to the rest of Trenholm neighborhood. And it's this section of trail where we have a four degree incline, except when we're coming from this direction, it's a decline. And it's twisty and it's turny and it's very easy to pick up speed. And so I am taking this corner very slowly because it is very easy to pick up speed on four degree incline. But yeah, it's not that bad. If you were coming from the other direction and you were starting from Albion Falls Park, which is what we are currently in, then uh, yeah, it might be a, a little difficult right at the very beginning, but after that, everything is smooth sailing. We are passing over a bridge of this creek or river that leads to Albion Falls. And then we now approach the parking lot for Albion Falls Park. I'm going to include the parking lot as part of the distance. And at the very end of the parking lot, we have Arbor Road, which connects to Mountain Brow and also a bridge over to Stone Church Road. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.